when I was a resident, if a person came in with what looked like an illegal abortion, we not only had to fight to save her life, we had to call the police who would come in and interview this patient who had already been through the doors of hell. And the police would have to interview her because to be a patient of an abortionist was a crime in itself. It just didn't make sense that we would be withholding a safe legal procedure that could have eliminated all of this heartache and trauma and threat to their lives. Although passionately believing in a woman's right to choose, Dr. Millie Hansen elected to work entirely within the hospital system, making it possible for some women to obtain safe and legal abortions. There were many times that I was tempted to step over the legal line that time I was divorced and supporting four children. There's no way I could lose my license and still no way I could go to prison, for example. Dr. Hansen, as well as many other pro-choice physicians across the country, served on her hospital's abortion committee. Abortion committees reviewed formal requests for abortions and decided whether to approve them. Not all committees adhered to the same standards for abortion approval. In some states, the threat of suicide was considered a danger to the woman's life and would warrant an approval. In others, it would not. The sterilization and abortion committees were a way to get around the law prior to Roe versus Wade. We had a system all worked out. We had a system put into motion so that we could almost assure the patient that the process would go forward. I would culture that she must convince the psychiatrist that she was indeed suicidal. Uh, how when she walked across the bridge, she would think, I'm just going to crawl over the top and jump over. Is that unethical to coach a person? Is that, is that lying? Um, uh, maybe a little bit of both, but when you're between a rock and a hard place, you do what you have to do.